Scientists have been exploring our solar system for hundreds of years. There's a lot we know and a lot we don't. One way we learn about planets like Mars is through studying its craters. Craters form after large rocks or chunks of ice crash into a planet's surface, essentially leaving behind a giant hole. Craters give us a picture of the past and tell us how old a planet may be, and they give us a peek into the future, showing us what minerals are there and what kind of life could survive. So let's blast off on a journey millions of miles away to show you how craters are created. But first, wow, awesome. Now this is more like it. You'll need to grab a few things first too. A baking tin, flour, cake sprinkles, chocolate powder, and a few rocks. Now we're gonna make the layers of our planet. And to do that, you'll need the baking tin with about an inch or so of flour at the bottom and then we're gonna take our sprinkles and these will be the mineral deposits that are found on some planets. This chocolate powder is almost like the dirt found at the top of the planet. Now we're gonna take our rock here, hold it high in the air and drop it straight down onto the planet. Notice how the rock or meteorite created the crater the crater impact actually brought out some of the minerals beneath the top layer of the surface of our planet. And then the flower, that was tossed around and brought out in an ejector ray pattern, like we see on the moon. But not all meteorites impact head on. Some come in from an angle. In this collision, the ray pattern is only on one side. Planets with more craters are older and fewer craters, well, that suggests the planet is younger and craters come in different shapes and sizes too. The Hellas Impact Crater, the largest crater found on Mars, was twice the size of Alaska. And the Gusev Crater, one of the smallest discovered on the red planet, is less than four inches wide. That's teeny tiny, kind of like the ones we just made here. 